Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, the day-to-day -day grind. Prime time grind all the time. And as you can see, we went over the 10.75. <laughs> uh, the video didn't work correctly, so I had too much trouble with it. So we'll just start, it again, start another one. And since you can't watch that one anyway, because it's totally messed up. So... This will be our 10.75 video. Sis left. We're going to go to New Dawn. Boom, 5 of 56. There's plenty of missions to run in between the 50 millions. I'm running them anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. Is this left? Deliver 72 of gold. This left. Deliver one twenty of gold. This left. Boom delivery one eighty of palladium. And I'm sure we can't take all this one. No. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Sis left. We got nine missions left. So we'll probably need to take gold too. We're starting to run short on missions. We would prefer palladium, but when we can't get enough palladiums, then we take gold also. There's a palladium to need on. Yeah, my skin and these VR headsets just don't work together real well. Is this left? Yeah, I think we've got everything there. Is this right? Is this right? Yeah, we're full. Gold. 84 of gold. Okay, so we'll deliver these, come back here, and that will take care of this video. Uh, again, welcome to my Elite Dangerous, the day-to-day -day grind. Prime time grind all the time. That's what this is. And uh, we're going, this is to replace the previous video that didn't work, so the 10.75. So uh, we'll just deliver some missions to New Dawn and uh, call
call that one the set the 10.75 and then the 10.8 will probably create another video so I do appreciate you coming along make sure you look under the vid or to the bottom of the video to the right and you'll see the subscribe button please press that it doesn't cost you anything you get notified when I produce more videos and it'll help me with YouTube eventually uh, I need probably about 16 times <laughs> the number total number of subscribers that I currently have just even to get basic support so uh, underneath the video in the description you'll find ways to donate so you can help us there and it shows a couple of ways to or more I don't know what the future holds so the descriptions might be a little different in the future but uh, what it is currently ways to donate and underneath the video to the left you'll see my uh, YouTube channel page GFM underscore RDG where you'll find over 630 additional videos for you to watch keep adjusting my headset And uh, fleet carriers, yes, this is May the 6th, on May, May the 11th, we'll have Beta 2 for the fleet carriers. So I'll have another playlist called Elite Dangerous, my personal fleet carrier, my second look, Beta 2. So you should watch the Beta 1s. I have my first look, my personal fleet carriers, Beta 1, so you should watch those quite fascinating and we actually our viewership went up by 12 times just during that beta one so uh, you should watch those if you haven't already seen them and uh, the uh, cost the upkeep cost for the fleet carrier is going to drop by 85.5 percent so where I was spending 127 million I'll be spending now about 19 million so it's better the initial cost is still 5 billion they did not lower that. Uh, they're just trying to keep a smaller number of fleet carriers out there until they can kind of see what kind of effect it's going to have on the system. And uh, like the top 3% of players have over 5 billion. And less than that have over 10 billion. And we're at 10.7. Getting closer to that 10.8 billion. Um, I've heard it's less than 1% that have over 10, 10 billion. So uh, the services like the shipyard and the outfitting and universal cartographics, which they're adding as a service uh, that we didn't have in beta one, uh, those will be 35 to 45% cheaper. So I spent well over a billion on services. So it should be 600, 700, somewhere in there, million this time. Uh, ramp up time will be 15 minutes instead of an hour to go into hyperspace. And the cooldown period will be five minutes instead of an hour. So that's much better. And tritium as a fuel will go over two times as far. So that's super and uh, in the past if uh, you were in debt after four weeks they would decommission your sh your fleet carrier now it's 10 weeks so you have more time to catch up so if you go on vacation or family emergency something like that so uh, and the new era that's supposed to come out in December of 2020 has been postponed till after the end of the year into 2021 that's where we have heard through leaks that uh, that should be space legs planetary personal bases and landing on planets with atmosphere so it has been pushed well even fleet carriers the first beta is supposed to have come out in November 2019 and it wasn't until April 2020 before we saw beta one so it's not out of the ordinary that there's delays so we need to get this load to new dawn 
Is this right? 280, sis left. Make sure we have the destination. Sis left. Sis left. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It can't not hear anymore. Yeah, voice attack is just not as good as it was when I first got it. And I've even reinstalled it today completely. And it's still, it's almost useless. It's not any good. So as you can tell, I'm not promoting it anymore. <laughs> I did recommend it at first. I'm not recommending it. It's turned into a piece of junk. Kind of like this o Oculus Rift S that loses tracking all the time. They put the tracking in the headset. Big mistake. Landing gear retracted. Ship released. Engines engaged. Frame shift drive charging. They're junk makers. <laughs> they just make junk. They don't test nothing. They just throw stuff out wanting, wanting to make money. They don't care if it works Four. or not. Three, two, one, engage. Kind of like seven interdictions and stuck super cruise throttles. And the, the mission critical message while you're trying to work in the missions board. To me, that's junk. So, you got a lot of junk. Incoming mission critical message. That thing, but it's not as bad when you're not in the mission board, but if you're in the missions board, that thing just drives you crazy. It'll knock you out of what you're doing and throw you to the top of the board and sometimes make you hit the wrong, make you accept something you didn't want to accept. And I think that's the reason they do it, trying to get you to accept things you don't really want that obstacle course mentality they have, which I don't like that either. There's a lot I don't like. Like someday, if I get an audience with those at Frontier, they're gonna get an earful. I'm going to give them what for. Oh, I'm sure I'll never get an audience with them because I'm not an apologist. They just like the apologists. Those that always side with them no matter what junk they put out. No matter if things don't work or not. Where they just worship them or something. Well, I'm not that. I'll tell you when something's junk. Is there some good parts of the game? Oh yeah, there is. There's, there's a lot of good parts of the game, but there's some junk parts of the game too. That's just terrible. Probably the seven interdictions on one super cruise run is probably what gets under my skin the most. Because that's insanity to me. Is this left? Because before I attempted to create a video last time, I went through seven interdictions in the single super cruise run again. I've got two videos out there on that. So if you want to see something that drives me absolutely crazy, 
go to my YouTube channel page at GFM underscore RDG and type in interdictions and watch those. There's a six and two sevens. You want to see something get really under my skin, that gets under my skin. So. If I didn't totally go off the deep end, I was holding it back. Because, <laughs> yep, that can make you go off the deep end. Is this left? Good to have you. And there's a whole lot of noise in this game. It went for the videos. Like before I did videos, I just turned the sound the off. For access, you are go for approach to pad one five. Acknowledge there's so much commander. noise. Clear for assisted docking. Is this up? Most of it's unnecessary noise. And yes, we're, we are already over 10.75, but this will be our official over 10.75 video just because the, the video that was being created for that didn't work. So at least I didn't have to Lighting edit and publish deployed. So it did save some time there. So I'm hoping this one does work. Probably about 1% of the time it just doesn't work. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that don't work. Landing operation complete. Dispatching ground crew. Welcome to the station, Commander. This right. Yeah, we got one more. Is this right? Yep, that's all of them. Ten point seven seven is our ten point five zero. At least you, I produced one anyway for it. Sis left. All we have to do is get back to Sothis Mining and that will be the end of this video as long as it worked. But we would just keep trying to create them until we figured out why it wasn't working. I think I figured it out, but we'll see. Get back to South this mining. Unsanctioned of aggression. Landing gear retracted. Detach is good. 
You may leave when ready. Yeah, I think everything's okay. Find out when we try to edit it. Get back to Sothis Mining. Well, thank you for coming along. Be sure to look to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and press that subscribe Four, button. Three. Two, one, engage. Doesn't cost you anything. You'll be notified when I create more videos. And eventually it'll help me with YouTube. And underneath the video in the description, you'll find ways to donate. Please consider donating. Because I need it. Especially storage systems for all these videos. Ugh. That's just craziness. Of what that costs. And underneath the video to the left, you'll see my YouTube channel page, GFM underscore RDG, where you'll find over 630 more videos to watch. And I record constantly in case I come across something that I think you'd want to see. And uh, sometimes, I mean, 1% of the time, the video doesn't work right. And just like the Guardian skimmers, it's not the Guardian Sentinels. It's different. It's an old legacy skimmer. And the first time I saw them, the video didn't work. And the second time I saw them, the video did work. So look up Guardian Skimmer in my YouTube channel. They shoot missiles. And a missile blew up right in front of my SRV. It didn't flip me over, because usually they flip you over when you get hit by a missile. So I don't know why it didn't, but I wound up uh, taking him out. I think I took him out before, or just after he shot the missile and before the missile actually hit at my, or near my SRV. Is this left? But I have so many videos on about everything. Engineers, material traders, uh, gathering materials, asteroid mining, fleet carrier, uh, Guardian surface site for the Guardian FSD booster, Thargoid surface site, where you'll see the scavengers that you can collect ARXs from if you shoot them. What I understand, I didn't actually shoot them, but what I understand if you do shoot them you get ARXs out of it Well, as soon as we dock, this will be the end of this video, and then I'll check it out to see if it worked or not. Sis left. Docking request granted.
Locking successful. Engines disengaged. Again, I appreciate you coming along. Hopefully you'll watch more of my videos and subscribe to my channel and consider donating. And yep, we're definitely over the 10.75. So until the next video, thank you for watching.